Hi everybody. Um, I don't usually do these videos. Um, I, I usually like to have a bit more of a basic script going, or at least a camera stand. But in this case, you know, I've been doing homework for a while, and I haven't made a video in a long, long time. So I thought I might as well do this. Uh, Salvador, forgive me. I don't think editing is going to be a top priority right now. But I wanted to talk to you about a bit of an event that came up in the last couple of days, and that is the fact that Critical Role has just been approved by Amazon for two seasons of their show. Now, that alone is incredible. A couple months back, I did a video about how Critical Role not only made several million dollars to run their own campaign's uh, car or cartoon, essentially, going over some adventures of Vox Machina and uh, some of the earlier years that we don't really know about, and including the Briarwood arc. They got well and above any of what they, the objectives they were expecting. And now with this, they've been confirmed at least for season two. Not only that, but it looks like the season two has already been funded by said Amazon. It's incredible, really. Um, rarely can you say that a that something that you followed, like, starting out as nothing, turning into something, that there's very few of us that can actually say that, and to those critters out there, well done, and uh, congratulations, you really did a great job uh, pushing this fandom, and it's incredible how large it's gotten, but I I'd be lying if I didn't say I have some concerns. I don't really like Amazon, I'm a business student at heart, but their business practices have always been a little sketch for my liking. They've been always a bit ruthless. You just have to look at Amazon Prime to kind of see the sort of cutthroat nature they have. First you buy, uh, you know, you have a subscription. Then you have to, you know, do the basic purchase to get in on Amazon. You know, like for their streaming services, I mean. And then you need to pay, in some cases, $2 an episode. When you're already paying subscription, when you're already paying the upfront fee, you also have to now pay for the episodes. And Part of me knows that they're probably going to do that for the Critical Role show, because they know we will pay for it. I mean, for crying out loud, we're the people who funded it for several million. Uh, 12 million, I believe, if not more. You know, they're going to fund the show. It's great, and I, I can't wait to see more Vox Machina, provided, you know, Amazon gives them the proper uh, creative liberties to make their own show. But there's always something in the back of my mind. It's like when I heard that they were making a Witcher show on Netflix. It something didn't fit quite right. And we're starting to see kind of those fears come to pass. And I, I have those fears right now. I really do about Critical Role. Um, I, I don't doubt what they're doing. You know, they, they this is their dream. And they can do whatever the heck they want. You know, it's great. I'm happy for them. And I'm really happy that they can make Critical Role into basically a, a second job, if not their primary job down the road, because it's great. We all love it. And most of all, they love it because it's just them hanging out with friends. And I, those people that say that they pre-rehearse everything, there's a script for Critical Role, I don't buy it myself. I don't buy into that theory, but... You know, you believe what you believe, man. Uh, you can say whatever you like. Nonetheless, I'm very happy that d and is getting into the mainstream, but we'll see where that goes. D maybe Amazon will be great for them. May and, you know, D&D gets more into the, the limelight. And it becomes... Uh, the world becomes a better place, because I honestly have a belief that role-playing in D&D, it makes better people, because... We learn so much from our characters when we do amazing role plays, when our DM builds us these amazing worlds. We learn more about ourselves, we learn more about politics, the world, and uh, in, in my case of that, I actually had a, ver a couple of revelations when it came to my own beliefs and even religion. All because of that silly little game. And I've crafted some of the greatest memories of my life with friends. Things that, you know, I doubt could be made anywhere else. And maybe this this show, it'll be an amazing gateway for so many little critters and so many new people. 
but we need to be careful. If Amazon or any of the other companies try to try anything funny, we need to help hold them accountable. Now, more than likely Matthew Mercer and everybody else has probably thought of all these things, but these are just thoughts of a YouTuber who is kind of exhausted after daylight savings and has one too many projects to do. This is an incredible opportunity, but I'm also a little bit scared that this could go very, very wrong. And I, I really don't want this to go wrong. I really don't because I've put too much time and effort into this and I have put so much faith into the show. That show got me through high school and I, I, I really want them to do well in the future. I want to see season three. I, I, I want to see them enjoy themselves and have fun. I just can't shake this feeling. My name is Michael, this is The Natural One, and thank you for listening to my little ramble about uh, Critical Role and the series in general. Um, I'm going to be trying to get back to normal episodes-ish. Uh, the next video I'm coming up with is the concept of the silver bullet, and generally how to make your character just a little bit more interesting and have a bit more fun with roleplay. Um, if you want to talk to me, please go down in the comments below. I will get to you as soon as possible. Um, and I, I kind of want to know what your thoughts are on this. Do you think they're making the right calls here? Are you worried that Amazon's going to have some influence on Critical Role by any chance? Or am I just a rambling, exhausted kid? I think I'm the latter, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Anyway, like, you know, I'm not even going to ask you to do that. You all, got, you all know what to do. And, um, thank you for the support towards the channel. My name is Michael, this is The Natural One, and I'll be seeing you next time. See ya.